Starhawk. This game has to be good because they played it on the tester. I'm gonna be playing a level of Starhawk. Here we go. In a world where blue lightning is the new space oil, the space oil can turn you evil and give you blue eyes. That's why one Starhawk with a jetpack has to shoot all the blue zombies, probably. All right, comically oversized pistol, how strong are you? Good animation, good sound effect. Place your bets now. The enemies are blue guys, but also I have a blue arm. So will the blue guys be the good guys the whole time and the corporation is evil? I'm putting down 10 bucks on the blue guys are not secretly the good guys in this one. Let's see how that goes. Watch out! Get back! Whoa! Man, that was close. What do you mean, man, that was close? That guy got killed. Phew, that was a close call. Good thing none of the main characters got hit by that. Hold triangle for the build and battle menu. Oh my God, it's Fortnite. Oh, that's a really bright explosion. This is why I hate build mode. This was primarily a multiplayer game, I believe. So the campaign is basically one big tutorial for multiplayer, which is no longer online. So don't expect the greatest story in the world. It's got good graphics though, and it does seem pretty fun. Look at this giant mutant swarm. Days Gone's got nothing on this game. Oh, they killed my wall. That's not good. I'm sorry I made fun of your Callisto's protocol, Deacon St. John. Please help me out. There's too many zombies. Okay, I have two sniper monkeys down now. We should be good. I don't think the balloons can get through. Is that where they're gonna spawn? Do they have like an ODST drop pod? Yeah, they do. There they are. Wow, what a nice, normal, generic protagonist, man. Hopefully nothing is horribly wrong with his elbow. Oh my god! That is not how an elbow is supposed to look, Starhawk. This guy makes an Elder Scrolls skeleton sound effect whenever he aims. I think he just has super arm muscles because he has a blue arm. I think his elbow muscle grew way too big. You ask me why I do the blue guys harm? Isn't it obvious? They ruined my arm. Hey, what color should we make the map? We should make the map uh, desert colored. Okay, what color will the environment be? Uh, desert colored. Okay, that'll be good. That'll be readable. This job will set us up to get us what we need. Don't worry, Till. He won't get killed, sadly. He won't get killed very sadly, Antrax. Oh, no, he got killed. Hi, main character. Can I have some of your blue power, please? Uh, no, sorry. The blue power is mine only. I'm gonna go to outer space now. Bye. Oh, there's my spaceship. Wait, no, it's a mech. It has legs. Is it a transformer? Can it fly and walk? Oh my god, it can walk and fly. You're watching War for Cybertron Gaming. Hey, look, it's Dead Space. What's up, Isaac Dead Space? Oh, hey there, Warhawk. Are you gonna buy my remake? Yeah, I probably will. Looks pretty good. Thanks, man. That means a lot. This is worse than that time. There was a long night of solace over the planet. Planet Reach. I gotta say, Long Night of Solace has better controls than this, and it's just one mission, so good job, Halo Reach, guys. Your five-minute spaceship part is better than this entire spaceship game. With nothing but a bad radio and a pat in the back. It's a dick. What? Did it crash? What is happening? Uh, did it crash? Okay, no, it's good. These 2D cutscenes do have really good graphics. I understand why the PS3 would have trouble showing them. I'm at an airlock. It's locked. Copy that. That's why they call it an airlock over. So in this game, you're an on foot guy with a gun and you can go into your mech and walk around in mech mode or the mech can turn into spaceship mode and you can fly around in spaceship battles and board enemy platforms. So basically this game is Star Wars Battlefront 3. If only it had clone troopers, then it'd be good. <laughs> Oh no. Here comes the bad guy monologue from General Blue Guy. Shut up, General Blue Guy. I'm not joining you, I don't think. I might join you. I still don't really know what the factions are in this game. We share the same scars, the same blood. Oh, there we go. There's a twist. General Bad Guy is my long lost brother. Ooh, wow, that's fancy. A whole introduction cutscene for the red laser pointer sniper. Finally, they get the recognition they deserve. Beware the legendary Apex Warrior. He's gonna have a massive health bar. Watch out for his devastating attack. Never mind, he's dead. Don't you dare kill my sniper tower, scavs. I worked really hard on that. I hit triangle one time. Lazy scavs never hit triangle a day in their life. They don't know what it's like to play an Xbox game and a PlayStation game back to back. You try remembering where Square is after playing a 360 game. Starhawk presents the Ballad of Ballard's Crossing. Oh, there once was a man named Starhawk who had a machine gun and he came to Ballard's Crossing and shot bad guys with his gun and he ran out of ammo. So we had to reload his gun and and then he said the game Starhawk is actually pretty fun. If you're watching this video on YouTube and have not yet visited my other channel, The Buttery Winthrops, do so right now. I've got some classic hit country tunes on there that I reckon will go over great at your next square dance. Oh, back in 1903, the first ever butter cow was real to me. Ooh, I can build a garage now? In the garage, I feel safe. My warthog deploys from space in the hog where I belong. Please insert the halo song. You got a hawking bout. Get ready. Just one? It's gonna die in the cutscene. 
<laughs> tied in the cutscene. I deployed so many auto turrets, I broke the cutscene. That's great. Any game where that can happen is an A plus game in my book. Building some turrets. That is a very smart strategy in this game. Starhawk finally got a long sleeve jacket to disguise his hideous elbows. Jump and hold R2 to use the jetpack. Ooh, we got a jetpack now. Oh my god. It's a wide jetpack. Evasive maneuvers. Oh, the jetpack has to dodge missiles. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. I'm getting blown the crap up. And so jetpack guy ran out of fuel and fell to his death in space where there's no gravity. Such a shame that that's how physics work, but you can't break the laws of nature. All right, Starhawk, time to take the fight to the Reapers. Stop harvesting my planet's biomass. Except for Bioware. You, you can harvest Bioware if you want. They can hire some new people and hopefully make Mass Effect 4 good. I hope in Mass Effect 4, Cerberus is back. They're still going. They're still up to no good. The elusive man right before he died uploaded his consciousness into the reapers and he's gonna come back as an ai but also the little kid uploaded shepherd into the reapers as well so it's gonna be shepherd versus the elusive man as a reaper and you're gonna play as garrus's son and you're gonna meet rex and rex is gonna be like i remember garrus he was a really cool guy that everybody loved and you're gonna go dude he's talking about garrus from the old game that's garrus from mass effect all the giant enemies in this game suck the bigger they star the hawker they fall. Finally, a mission where I have a companion the whole time. Let's go, Sheriff Jonas. Oh, he's dead. He didn't last very long, did he? Oh, hell. Looks like Farmer Dave finally bought the farm. Well, I warned him not to grow explosions. Not really sure how this was supposed to be a profitable crop. I guess maybe he could try selling them to the army, but I'm pretty sure the army makes their own explosions in-house. Artillery! Tracy, move! I just had to point out that none of them moved. He said, we gotta move, and they all stood still and got blown up. Oh, good. Jonas survived getting killed by an artillery bomb. That's good. Maybe you should get out of the way next time. Okay, Jonas is dead confirmed. She put a blanket over his face. He's dead. This one's for Jonas, you red square that says destroy on it. Taste the wrath of my torpedo, bad guy. I will avenge Jonas by killing the giant geth head. So the evil brother still thinks I should join him and rule the galaxy as brother and bro, but there was no evil corporation. So Starhawk is officially a game where the corporation is not evil. Defeat Logan. Here we go. Final boss. He's not a bad guy no more. I got his blue out of him. That's good. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he got sucked into the laser beam. Rip. Turns out the blue Energon was the bad guy the whole time. Oh, no. The blue energy has the human Reaper. That's not good. But this time, he's finally at risk. Is he, though? He got turned into a giant skeleton monster. I mean, I did shoot him a bunch, but the skeleton could very well still be alive. There could still be a Starhawk too. Starhawk is fine, but it was just a crappy campaign for a mainly multiplayer game. So I guess I'll never get the true Starhawk experience. There it is. Achilles. Congratulations, Achilles. Hello, gorgeous. Did you know that we do this event to say thank you to Ohio Dairy Farms and also to the Olympics and also a tribute to Darth Vader and Dave Thomas of Wendy's and Furby 